John Sutter. Luzania, you know what happened here on this fateful day. I sure do. It's the day I discovered gold and started the gold rush. I was fishing for trout and accidentally hooked the, uh, 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 hooked the gold nugget the size of a Land Rover. The rest is history. Becky, let's not start again. Becky tends to lie a little bit. I remember it like it was yesterday. That nugget was putting up a heck of a fight. I was using a 10 pound line and a peanut butter sandwich for bait when... Becky, we're here to watch a man named James Marshall discover gold on a land owned by John Sutter. Here they are. Captain Sutter, Captain Sutter, I found gold near your sawmill. Are you sure? Absolutely, I had it tested. You got gold on your land. Gold, gold! Write down, Marshall. We need to keep this a secret between you and me. <laughs> It's our little secret, it's just between us. Our little secret, let's not make a fuss. Our little secret, we won't tell a soul. Nobody needs to find out we found gold. It's our little secret, we'll just tell our friends. Maybe a cousin, but that's where it ends. Our little secret, we don't have a doubt. No way our secret can ever get out. We found gold. We found gold. We found gold. We found gold. It's a secret. It's our little secret. So don't talk too loud. If we are careful, we won't draw a crowd. Our little secret, no one here will cheat. We all are masters of being discreet. We found gold, 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 we found gold. But it's a secret, a secret, a secret, a secret. It's our little secret. It's just between us. A little secret, let's not make a fuss. A little secret, we won't tell a soul. Nobody needs to find out. We found gold! 
course, the secret was soon out. In December of 1848, President James Polk announced to the entire nation that a huge amount of gold has been found in Northern California. President Polk was a great man. He invented television, and so a grateful nation named their favorite card game poker in his honor. Becky, stop it. None of that is true. However, the entire nation did catch gold fever. From New England to New Orleans, people dreamed of getting rich in California. Gold fever all over the place. Gold fever, a terrible case. Oh, gold fever, it's deep in my chest. Gold fever, we've got to go west. I dream of golden nuggets. Gold dust in golden buckets. This bug is so outrageous. It's terribly contagious. Gold fever all over the place. Gold fever, a terrible case. Gold fever, it's deep in my chest. Gold fever, we've got to go west. Gold dollars and gold shillings Gold toothpicks and gold fillings We've got the bug inside us I'm feeling like King Midas Gold fever all over the place Gold fever, a terrible case Gold fever is deep in my chest You know, I had a fever once, 132 degrees. I was so hot, my socks caught on fire. That's enough, Becky. Neighbors came over to toast marshmallows on my nose. Hey, your stories remind me. Have you seen Sam around lately? Sam? No, not since the Calaveras County, I County incident with the leaping toads. They were jumping frogs. We'll have to track him down. He knows a lot about the West. Meanwhile, it's the spring of 1849 and folks are flocking west. 40,000 are coming by land, and it's not an easy trip. Leaving Missouri one gentle spring day, hundreds of wagons are going our way. None of us wants to believe we can fail. Boy, it's my era on the overland trail. My era, my era, oh, it's my era on the overland trail. Rivers swell up and you can't get across. Some folks get sick and some others get lost. For some it's the heat and for some it's the hay. Good it's mighty rough on the overland trail. Mighty rough, mighty rough, oh, it's mighty rough on the overland trail. Seven weeks out in the auction go week, we toss from the wagon the stuff we don't need. The things start to look like a furniture stain. Before it snowed, the Sierras were so good. Leaving Missouri one gentle spring day, hundreds of wagons are going our way. None of us want to believe we can fail. But it's my rough on the overland trail. Mighty rough, 
Mighty rock, oh, it's mighty rock on you. I myself came to California by wagon. I started my first hotel and restaurant near Sacramento on September 49. Got $10 for my first plate of biscuits. I came by blimp. You did not. Sure did. A giant blimp blown from Kansas City to San Francisco in two days. Two days? There were very strong winds. Sam, you made it! The reports of my death are greatly exaggerated. You're just in time. We're about to hear from the folks who came to California by ship. They call themselves Argonauts, sailing from the Golden Fleece. I prefer steamboats on the Mississippi myself, but I wish them luck. Summer, summer weather, boiling hot in the sun, and the rivers fed by the melting snow. And don't forget the giant squid. But the miners didn't let anything stop them. Not even the giant squid. No, I saw many miners rising fast from affluence to poverty, always hoping to strike it rich. I'm just one hand away. From striking pay dirt, just one pan away from being rich. There's icy water up to my knees, can't feel my thumbs and my toes might freeze. Still, I've got that any day now itch. I'm just one pan away from El Dorado, just one pan to hit. The mother load. The air's 110 degrees. My head's on fire and there ain't no breeze. Still, it's not the time to hit the road. Cause I've got a fortune right here in my hand. I've got a fortune in this mud and sand. I've got a fortune waiting for me here. Maybe not this time, but my time is near. One more scoop. One more scoop. One more scoop. We can't stop scooping. Off just one pan away from striking pay dirt. Just one pan away from being rich. There's icy water up to my knees. Can't feel my thumbs and my toes might freeze. Still, I've got that any day now itch. Still, I've got that any day now itch. 
Step on up, folks, and try your luck. Guess the year of the fire in San Francisco and win a vacation trip of your dreams. Hello, folks. Come on over and test your skills at Know Your Fire. Just three dollars give you a shot at the big prize. The gold earth brings out all kind of people who like to take your money. What kind of fool would fall for this? Hey, this looks great. This is the last place to put my three dollars, don't you think? You know my motto. Put all your eggs in one basket and watch that basket. Just three dollars, my little lady, and you're on your way to a fantastic vacation package wood over two dollars. Wow! Excellent. Now, no help from the crowd. Here's your question. In which of the following years did San Francisco suffer a major fire? 1850, 1851, 1852, or 1853? This is a tough one. It seemed to me that San Francisco was always burning down. That's absolutely correct. Okay, Johnny, tell the lucky lady what she's won. Better go home and pack your bags, Becky, because you are setting you on a six-day, five-night, amazing trip of the gold mining camps. You'll enjoy an amazing treatment in a rent tent at Red Dog Camp. You'll eat dinner at the best saloon and visit some of the tallest trees in Hangtown. Watch, watch out for the robins. You who like to steal your gold? Enjoy your dream vacation! I can't believe I won! We are the children of the miners. We are the young 49ers. Fetching firewood for sale. Hauling water, hunting quail. We are the children of the miners. We are the young 49ers. Sneaking in the saloon next door. Scraping gold dust off the floor. food and lodging to, m to the miners. Men would pay a good price for a home-cooked meal or some sewing and washing. You sure made money with your hotel than I did with my journalism. Wise Luzenia, that Wilson's of hotel of yours became the center of a brand new town. A lot of famous people got their start at the time. Sure. I remember Gordon Nike sold boots with inflated heels. Called them Air Gordons. Please, Becky. Then there was old Farmer McDonald. One day he accidentally kicked a potato into a pan of bacon grease and invented French fries. He made a fortune. He even had the bottom of his feet gold plated to celebrate his discovery. I don't remember that. You mean you never heard of the golden arches of McDonald's? Thank goodness some real merchants are here to tell us the truth. <laughs> Mr. Studebaker got wheelbarrows. Mr. Armour's got his butcher shop. Mark Hopkins comes along now selling groceries. Don't think that he's gonna stop. We're merchants and we have found gold. We're merchants with profits untold. We're merchants, a marvelous thing. We're merchants and retail is king. Mr. Levi Strauss has got his canvas. 
Making tents was getting too routine. Now he has got his scissors and his rivets. He's found a fit in blue jeans. We're merchants and we have found gold. We're merchants with profits untold. We're merchants, a marvelous thing. We're merchants and we tell his king. and moved to San Francisco or Sacramento. You bet the coldest winter I ever spent was a summer San Francisco. Let's listen to these miners. We dig in the spring. We dig in the summer. We dig while the blue skies last. In winter it rains. The rivers are flooded, we head to the cities fast. The mud is so deep, the cows disappear now. There's nothing but rock for moves. We've got those cows sinking, cows sinking, socks sinking, socks sinking. What the heck were we thinking, waiting out the winter time blues? We're sleeping in tents in cold San Francisco and looking for work all day. We're carrying wood and digging some ditches and gambling our gold away. Two bucks for a back to wash all the mud off. We die for some nice dry shoes. We've got those cows sinking, cows sinking, socks sinking, socks sinking. What the heck were we thinking? Waiting out the winter time, cows sinking, cows sinking, socks sinking, socks sinking. What the heck were we thinking? Waiting out the winter time, blue. About the gold rush, it just sort of petered out. A lot of miners just stayed in the cities, working in the same professions they practiced before the move to California. Most of the mining was taken over by big companies using hydro new methods like hydraulic mining. And of course, silver was soon found in Nevada. That's what brought me west. You know, Sam, you're a clever guy. I've been thinking, maybe you should change your name. Yeah? What's wrong with Samuel Clemens? If you're going to be a writer, you need something catchy. How about Ernest Hemingway? I'll think about it, Becky. Really will. Good, because this gold thing is just about over. When my mother invented nuclear energy in 1854, it was no longer economically feasible. Becky, when are you going to learn? You don't have to make up history. It's strange enough by itself. So you don't want to hear about how Bigfoot helped build the Golden Gate Bridge? No!